I'm gonna be uh, um, Obi Wan Kenobi from Episode Four of Star Wars. I'm gonna be Luke Skywalker. The Twix bar, the chocolate. Oh. Yeah, it's my favorite chocolate bar. Grade five and six students from Duke of Connaught Public School are asking the public to think twice when they think about a Halloween costume, and they're also asking in costume stores across the GTA to think about what they put on their shelves. It really started with a conversation that we were having in the class around social justice, around how to define um, appreciation and appropriation. I think you heard one of the students say that. And when I saw a post from a colleague uh, on Facebook about some costumes that were inappropriate and appropriated from a culture, I shared it with the students along with a campaign called hashtag culture not a costume. Controversial costumes have made headlines for years. A few weeks ago, a school in Winnipeg, a coal sage creek, banned kids from wearing Halloween costumes because they were too scary for the younger children. In this case, costumes with names such as Girls Dreamcatcher Cutie and Adult Tribal Temptation were what prompted these students at this school to take action, starting a petition online asking Party City and other costume shops to stop selling racist costumes. There were two students in our class who would like who wanted to start a petition and they decided to write learn a bit more and write all about it. So as soon as they put it out, we got a few uh, signatures and then eventually it got more and more popular. So I think right now we're at over two hundred yeah, signatures more as of this morning. I think realistically it's a cascade effect and I think what's inspiring about this group of young people is they know their voices are, are matter and that it's a cascade effect. So what started as a petition with one signature yesterday at 310 when we posted it now has 248 signatures. I've actually never really thought about how it can offend people but when Miss um, Papoff brought it up then I started thinking about how it can offend people and their culture. We did reach out to Party City and in a statement they said Party City respects the right of individuals to choose costumes that suit their personal creativity. Our costumes are created to meet the current demand and interests of our customers. However, our costumes are never created with the intent to promote any social or political agenda nor offend anyone. Yeah, our aim is to get Party City to take them their costumes and so we need a meeting to talk and to them. try and influence next year's Halloween costume choices. The students say they also try to reach out to Party City and they're hoping to set up a meeting.